Good morning to you on this rather chilly Monday morning here in Sydney. I woke up this morning and I realized it was pretty cold outside. And I started thinking about all the things that I have to do today. And the temptation was to just pull the doona over my head and stay in bed. But as you can see, I didn't do that. Because then the very next thought that I had was, I can't do this. But then I thought, but Lord, you can. And came to mind what Paul writes in the letter to the Philippians, in chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is very often the text I use to get myself out of bed in the mornings. I often wake up and think, well, I can't do this. I can't face the day. I can't do everything that I need to do. But Lord, you can. So I'm going to rely on you. And be like Paul who said, I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me. You see the key to it is that we don't try to do things in our own strength, in our own ability, in our own wisdom, with our own love. When Jesus was getting ready to depart, he said to his disciples, stick around, wait in Jerusalem, and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and then you will be my witnesses. So Jesus basically told them to wait, to wait for Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit would be poured out. He was telling them not to go out under their own steam, under their own power, but to wait for the Holy Spirit. Since Pentecost, every Christian has the Holy Spirit living in their heart. So we have the God's power source living within us. And that's why Paul could say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He didn't say I can do all things in my own strength, in my own ability, in my own power, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's the key to living a successful and a fruitful life. That's the key for being able to do everything that God desires for us to do. We don't need to try to do it on our own, under our own steam. If we do, we very quickly will run out of power. We need to stay plugged into God's power all the time. And the great thing is that this power source is in our hearts. It's right there. We just have to have the right attitude. We just have to start every day and face every challenge by saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because there's another great passage just a few verses on in that same chapter of Philippians where Paul says, My God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. So you put those two together I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory, and there's no reason to stay in bed. You get up and you do what God wants you to do. So let's thank him now as we join together in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your provision. We thank you for this brand new day that you have given to us. We thank you, Lord, for your word which is so clear and your word which encourages us today, your word which strengthens us. Help us to be like the Apostle Paul, who faced every day and every challenge by saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you that you have given us the gift of the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit lives within our hearts, that we have, Lord, your power source living within us. Help us to realize that so that we don't balk at the things that we need to do, but that we learn to trust in you, that we learn to rely upon you. Lord, when we are challenged today, when we have things come against us, help us to realize that within us is the power to do, the power to love. So Lord, we just rely upon you, and we ask that you, Holy Spirit, would lead us and guide us, empower us and strengthen us. We thank you also for the promise in your word, that you shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. As David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I have no need. There's nothing that you do not fulfill. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So it is with that focus and that attitude, Lord, that we begin this new day. Together with the birds around us, we sing our praises to you. We glorify your name, and we thank you for this day. We ask your blessing upon this world. We ask your blessing upon our loved ones. We, Lord, pray for the sick and the dying. We pray, Lord, for 
strength for all who are frontline workers. As we slowly return back to some sense of normality in life, we pray that you help us to make the right decisions and to love other people and to maintain that physical distance as a gift of love to others and to ourselves. Lord, we give all to you and we join together now in praying. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that you have a very wonderful and a blessed day. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. May God's peace be with you.